Hey guys, just another quick tips video from Go Engineer. My name is Joseph Catrona. I'm an applications engineer here at Go Engineer. Today's video is going to be real short and sweet to the point. It's regarding the license file for Enterprise PDM. Every year I get several calls throughout the year, a few here, a few there, where someone is needing uh, a new license file because they've upgraded their PDM software, Enterprise PDM. Also, this comes around if someone has installed Enterprise PDM uh, on their own with, without professional services, uh, without, without us being involved. Now, basically, it's just a text file. Uh, Enterprise PDM uses this text file licensing structure. So whether you get that from me uh, or your VAR, so if, it's, uh, if you're a Go Engineer customer, feel free to reach out to me, Jake Catrona, at GoEngineer.com or uh, you can access this file online uh, at SolidWorks.com and you may or may not be familiar with SolidWorks website but if you've been on there before you've probably logged in through the customer portal and that's going to give you access to things like the uh, the knowledge base where you can search common issues you may be having and also access to your license file for any registered product. Okay, so however you get that file, you're going to need to load it in through the Enterprise PDM admin tool. It's just a text file. If you open it up, literally just a text file of said format. So I'm going to go to my start menu, all programs, and look for Enterprise PDM administration. So there's our handy dandy admin tool. I'll go ahead and log into my vault. Okay, that allows me to access all the settings by expanding out this dev vault. Now I've got a couple of vaults here. You probably only have one, uh, maybe uh, maybe two if you've got some kind of testing environment. Uh, but at any rate, for one of these vaults, doesn't matter which one, you're going to need to go ahead and open, right click on licenses, open, and then down here you can browse to the license file. Now we always recommend that you put this in some secure location, a read-only place on the server, for example. Uh, that, that's going to be our um, suggestion. However, it, it, it's really only important that you read it in one time. So I'll go ahead and select that, choose to open, and say OK. You don't really get an OK message or any success dialog. You will get a failure dialog if that was the wrong version. Maybe that's your 2012 license file and you didn't go and get a new one for this year. Uh, or uh, maybe it's the wrong, license, the, the wrong text file that you selected, perhaps. At any rate, you can go back in to licenses and see that it was successful by looking at your number of users. You should see the uh, the associated license count for each of the license types depending on your uh, license purchase. So that's really it. If you've got any questions with this or again if you're upgrading from 11 to 12, 12 to 13 and you need that new license file, feel free to reach out to me, uh, J C U T R O N A Joe Catrona at GoEngineer.com or your VAR uh, or again you can access that through the customer portal. And if there's any comments you have about this video or any videos you'd like to see in the future, please feel free to leave us a comment. We appreciate those comments and we appreciate you watching another Go Engineer Quick Tips video. Thanks.